Hello everyone, Starfusion Gaming here for another episode of TWD. Now this episode is a bit different than my other TWD episodes. Normally I just talk about a topic, but this time I'm just going to be doing a Minecraft World Tour. It's kind of strange. It probably doesn't really fit the theme of TWD, but... Meh. I didn't know where else to fit it in. So yeah, I'll be doing a world tour of a world me and my dad worked on. But yeah, this is uh, some of the map. It's not complete. And this bridge leads somewhere else. Now this is a cow farm. I know, it's great. This is a, this was a big platform right here is actually going to be a big item sorting system. Using a lot of like hoppers and stuff. This is a failed infinite cobblestone generator. You could tell the lava and water is put on the wrong side. Alright. There used to be something right here. It was like a... It was like an automatic chicken machine. There's a bunch of chickens in one block. They lay eggs. Goes into a hopper. Gets shot out by a dispenser. Produces another chicken. But we, one time we left the chicken machine on. Left the house. Came back. And it was... It was lagging like crazy. So... Frame by frame. Making it over here. We broke the... The block. And they came bursting out. And it took a long time for the... Actual game to stop lagging. So yeah. Anyways, Beacon, which currently gives a jump boost to, speed to, resistance, and regeneration. There's one here, there's one there, and I think there's one later on in the platform. This is longer than you can see. Auto smelters. And this is where the first tree farms were. These are all like little blocks for each kind of tree, like dark oak and... Oh man, I can't think of it for some reason. Why well, I don't know why I cannot think of the name. Spruce! Yeah, this is Spruce. Right? Yes. I don't know, I really... It's been a while since I've actually played this game. I don't remember what this is going to be for. Oh yeah. And throughout this... This uh, world tour, you're going to see a lot of things that include safety, like this fence, because you know. Safety first. All right. Now this is the sheep farm of all kinds of colors. Pigs. Now this is my room. You totally don't hear that nether portal. I don't know why the blocks are missing here. But yeah, bed and a bunch of backup stuff. In case I die. Now this is my dad's room. And by the way, the floor used to be completely gold. And these torches everywhere, well, you know. Safety first. So yeah, he was all about safety. Now the upstairs, that will be later. It's part of the route. I'll eventually get up there. So I tried to think of the most optimal route. So yeah, this is the balcony. And this is the start of a very long bridge, which we'll get into a different time. But first, this is the drop. Oh, and by the way, we're like just at the height limit. Build the house any higher and you won't be able to. So this drops all the way to surface level. So this drop. I actually thought about making this all different colors of wall going down. It would look cool. Now this is the failed zipper elevator that goes all the way up. That's what you saw poking out at the balcony. Every, t every time I go over here I try to get up it just by tapping right and left. 
I've almost made it up once. And this water here is to not let me die if I make it up really high. But yeah. And this is behind the scene in a big ladder. Now this is the bridge. This is also connected to the bridge from the top. And this is, yeah, this is water, glowstone, glass, and do two kinds of wood. Now there is nothing to the right here, it just leads outside. And this house is empty. It's not complete yet. Didn't really know what to put in it. But all these rooms are just empty. This leads to another empty hallway. Now, down the stairs here. Now this is the XP grinder. You've probably seen this before. Maybe. But basically zombies spawn, they fall in the hole. And then they'll drop from a really high height. And then... They will fall here and you'll just hit them. They'll be like one hit away. Usually, maybe they'll be like wearing armor or something. And this is a mob farm. You've probably seen this kind of thing. Hot, no, there's not dispensers automatically shooting water every once in a while. But all the redstone's messed up because this world kind of hasn't been touched for a while and it messed up for some reason. But yeah, they all fall in Dino Hopper and all the items will be transferred automatically. Now this is where we store our horses, but they're not here right now, they're in a different place, which you'll see later. Now these are the statues. That's his avatar and that's my avatar. I never finished it because it's complicated. Well, I mean, I was slowly working on it. It's mostly getting wool from the sheep. This was originally going to be Connect 4. I was building this, but I couldn't figure it out. Now over here, back in the empty house, there's a door right here, leading to a railroad. That leads to the swamp. And there are a lot of ra there are a lot of doors on the way that leads just to the outside and nowhere. So there's not really much to show. I guess I'll either cut this or speed it up. I guess we'll find out. Alright, and we're here. This is the swamp. I shoot with arrow so it doesn't go far away without me. And this is a swamp house. Now this is uh, the mostly the place my dad worked on. Now I'll show you through the swamp house. Now this railroad leads down to mines, which they look like your normal diamond mines. There's like a long strip looking for diamonds, and then like two blocks to the right, there's another strip. That's basically what this leads to. And you'll see a few more of those in the tour. A good thing about having a house in the swamp is slimes spawn in the swamp. I mean, it's a good way to farm slime balls for, like, sticky pistons and stuff. But yeah, that's the swamp house. But we're not done on the the rails. Still got a shorter distance. A bit of a shorter distance, but it's still a distance. So off we go. Alright, and we're here. What the? How did I get... I just got teleported outside of the... I don't know. Yeah, I was supposed to go in there. But outside of here, this is where I got a lot of vines. Yeah. 
That's basically it. But yeah, this railroad is the lead to the this temple we found. Nothing really special about it, just normal temple. But it does have another portal. Which is where we're going to next. Yeah, it was kind of weird how this worked out. The portal used to be here, but I think it got destroyed somehow, and then when we re-entered, it appeared up there. It's weird. Now, up this ladder. Now, we broke the bedrock here. And this is before you were able to. Well, I mean, we got up. Like, when we got up, we just spammed with ender pearls to get up. But I think there's a refresh time now, so you can't do that anymore. But yeah, when we got to the top, we got a dark oak tree and broke the bedrock by growing it. So now we have a place to get above the bedrock. It's right here. And this is the Pigman farm. Once again, redstone's messed up, so it won't work. And this was the farm before there was an update that allowed you not to really get any gold from Pigman. Unless you killed him manually. But yeah, Pigman gets forced off by a piston, drops and dies. These hopper minecarts go around collecting stuff from the slabs. And those minecarts get collected by these hoppers. Which put stuff in. And I think there is still some gold in... One of these chests. Yeah. Back before it was changed. Alright, now the this is the next journey. The reason why we have glass everywhere is, at least when we played, enemies did not spawn on glass. And there's glass over my head so enemies wouldn't spawn on the rails. So basically it prevents any kind of like pigman or anything to go on the rails and just kind of bump you out of the way. That's our reasoning for having glass. But this leads to the dome. Yep, this is a dome. This is the one I mostly worked on. I mean, doesn't really look like much of a dome, it's a square. I tried. Now back, back to the overworld. Which, this is why it includes the second floor, because it leads to the second floor of the house. Now over here, this is the main brewing area. This water is so, so I don't have to use a cauldron, I could just right click the water. And you got some stuff. Now this is a bathroom, because every house needs it. Balcony. A great view of the platform. Oh, you probably noticed how the beacon was cut off. Yeah, that that just shows the height limit. That's just where it ends. Enchanting room with anvil. And a great view of the top of the bridge. And this is the main storage room. Basically all the items. These are a lot of books we enchanted. Stone and nether and ores. I'll explain later. And yeah, and there's a chicken chest. Back when the chickens exploded, I think we made this chest to store it all. It's almost gone now. But yeah, it was a lot, it was a lot of chickens, trust me. And an empty room. It's no use. No use for it yet. Now, the roof. A little sitting area. And yeah. Oh, and you see all those torches? That was some mobs that spawn up there. And you know. Safety first. Yeah, this is a very tall mountain. There's lots of dying when we... We're first climbing up here. 
or at least before we had the proper transportation to get up here, like the rails or the nether. Just all that. Now, this is railroad. Oh, yeah, ender chest. This goes down to surface level, surface level as well. But I'm not gonna go on the rails yet because there's a stop right here. And I would go too far in the rail, the minecart would run off without me. Now this is, I'm, this is our bigger tree farm. Mostly for collecting wood for the bridge. I think it was, I think it was mostly for the bridge. Because the middle of the bridge was made of just pure log. A birch log. And this is, this is not the most efficient of replanting, but it is for getting wood. So, birch, oak, and not used yet. Replanting it anymore. But yeah. That's that. Now I guess it's time to go on the railroad. Now this machine automatically breaks the minecart, so you don't have to get out. It's very, it's, it's nice. I should have made one on the top. Now this is our very first and main mine. It's on diamond level, and of course this is what all of our diamond farms look like. It just looks like this. And this is a ravine, but I don't remember how the caves go. So, there's no exploring that. It probably won't be that exciting anyway. Now this! This is going to be a really big ravine type thing. And there's a water source there, for a reason. And that is- AHHHHH! <laughs> <laughs> the scared- Okay, that that really scared me. Actually, I was not expecting that. I thought it was I thought it was lit up down here, but yeah, this is an obsidian farm. Oh man, that's, that that's not like that. Obsidian farm. This is where all the obsidian mining was. This was all lava at one point. So yeah, there's that. Man, that skeleton. All right, now where the break. Break, breaker is, you've, if you've seen Potato Curse, you've seen this. This is the main farm. Wheat, carrot, watermelon, pumpkin, wait, potato, carrot, uh, sugar cane, netherrack, cocoa beans, cactus, and vine. Because I think you use vine to craft stuff now. Like mossy stone. And it's, I, I didn't really finish this. I think I like work. I like finished it, but then I extended it. And a water source for obvious reasons. All right, now I'll head right. This is the very first one of our bridges we completed, with all the glowstone and the glass and it has water and everything. That's cool. Now this is heading back to our original spawn, our original spawn point, which we have a few things there. Now what you'll see next is, uh, you'll see a rail leading into the nether portal. Now that was for a small and tough to pull off duplicator system, which might explain the iron, and why we have 64 sponge. But yeah, this is duplicator. Like one, one of us would be on the other side, throwing pieces back in from the minecart chest, and another one would push it slightly and try to take it out at the exact right moment, and it'll just double. So the person on the other side will get the items, and, so, and if you pulled it out successfully, you'll get it too. Of course, it worked. It barely worked. That's a part of how we had all the iron. This is a failed mob, a mob farm. They would die. 
but I think it didn't work for some reason. Probably, I think it was because of it being at spawn point, original spawn. And that's some of where you would spawn no matter what. If you died without a bed. Now, once again, it's another railroad. But before that, this nether portal. Just this is where what the end of the what end of it looks like, and that's the dome. There we go. That's all there is to show. All right, up to the rail. Time for another travel. I hear a zombie. Now I'm expecting something. But I won't go in there yet. I'll go up here with our I think our biggest project in this world. You'll be amazed by what you're about to see. This is, first of all, it's a dirt tower. But believe me, there's a lot more to show. Let's get in here. Now, this is our dirt tower. It's also a storage area. Cobblestone. Dirt. Others. We restore everything else. Beds. And a hopper for some reason. Wheat for food. As a, we lived here for, for a long time and we still are. And water. I know it's a lot to take in. But we spent a long time here. And then we have something else we did in the side other than the dirt tower. Which was this ravine. It's 100 by 100. And this, this pole goes up to the height limit. Which will put a lot of extra cobblestone. Once we're done mining this, we're planning on building like a city. Like there'll be a sewers and then there'll be like a city on it. So it's going to be like a really low city. But yeah. It took a long time and it's not even half done. All right, not back to the rails, but into the end. Now over here is a rail. <laughs> How surprising. Whoa, I didn't know health regenerated that fast. I'm not peaceful. This will lead to a farm. And this glass here is to prevent Enderman from being in the middle of the track. So I don't want to fall. Now this is an Enderman farm. For Ender Pearls. And of course the redstone's messed up. And also it's not supposed to be going that crazy. You're supposed to see like one line go by like every once in a while. But yeah, Endermen's fall. They land on, of course slabs and those lead to hoppers which leads to chests but it's not working properly because the machine's broken it's supposed to be closed right now by the way and it'll open any moment yeah it's not supposed to be that fast but yeah oh yeah and we tried now we did play once on a newer update or a couple times a newer update and the refight the Ender Dragon, and uh, a new portal appeared. I would show you that, but it's really not that exciting. It didn't really add anything. We found the Elytra, and I'll tell you what happened to that later. I won. Okay, back at the house. Now this time, I'll go on the balcony, but this way. Have, this is a bridge, but it's not complete because there's no water. Which, of course, that takes longest because you need an infinite source of water. And if you're going across a long bridge, well, yeah, it'll take a long time. But at our first stop, before the long bridge journey.
This used to be a duplicating machine. By accident. This leads, I don't remember how many blocks, but like it'll, it leads super far away. Into a desert house. And we thought it'd be a good idea to have hoppers going back and forth. So we duplicated a little bit of iron. Oh, and by the way, the bridge was finished before we... Like all the wood and... Yeah, all the wood and wood was done before we started doing all the duplicating stuff, so this was fair. That's why we have all those tree farms before the hoppers were. So we duplicated some iron, which should, explains why we have lots of iron blocks, and made a big hopper system going all the way to the desert house and back so we can like transfer items in a cool way. But something happened. We tested it out with a raw flesh. And then it came back as tons of rotten flesh. For some, I think something about the hoppers being in between chunks kind of made them duplicate when they're like loading and unloading. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff. We use this to our advantage. A lot of minecarts. And hoppers and glowstone. Lots of shovels. And there's more on the other side. This is coal blocks for smelting. Yeah, it's mostly glowstone. But yeah, I will go over here. I'll, t I'll tell you what happened to the Elytra. Well, we got the Elytra in the like, newer update. I think it's the most recent update we've played. When the Elytra came out. The new Ender Dragon fight and everything. But we put it in here. Hoping it'll duplicate so we won't have to like find it all the time. And it never came back. It was a sad day. I would go on the rails, but... We worked on the bridge from both sides. And of course, we needed a tree farm. Oh my goodness, that leg. I don't know if you saw that. But yeah, tree farm. Oak, birch. How exciting. But before I get into the desert house, off to the village. Now this is a quartz house. Never finished, and there's a big, a lot of sand was mined here. Now this is the village. And of course, we didn't get any potatoes here, which is sad. But we spent a long time. We we went here on foot to find this village. Finally, did. Before I get into here, this is the iron farm, which iron golems would fall. I knew you. I didn't want you to sneak up on me. The iron golems would fall. Their head would hit this lava, and it would kill them. Items are going here, and boom, iron. This is this used to be a villager area. You can tell by the doors, because that's where they breed. Doors are the breeding power. And this is... I'll go up here. The iron golem farm. Iron golems will spawn here. And fall in. And this is our trading area. Villager trading area. And this is the villager that gave us the... Bottle of enchanting. So yeah. Trading area. Trade once. And duplicate. Or we could duplicate a lot of emerald. And, dupli and trade with that. Alright, now at the desert house. Not super exciting. This is our like, main stopping area. I think it was mostly for the bridge. And the farm and everything like that. But yeah, ender chest, beds. And this is the horses. This is where they're all stored. And down here, auto smelter. Oops, wrong side. And a carrot farm for food. And this leads to another one of those diamond mines. And then, the nether. 
Which, in case you don't know why there's lots of, like, traveling in the nether, it's because traveling in the nether is, I think, eight times faster than traveling in the overworld. Like, every block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld, so traveling here is, is way more, like, way faster. So that really long distance between our house and the desert house is really short in, in the nether. Now this is right here. This is back to the, this is the, where the jungle temple led. Now I'm simply going to go to the dome again. So I'll see you there. All right, back in the dome. Now let's go side a bit. Now this is like, oops, this is an old pigman farm. You see right here. We used to have this big underground system where we get it pigman mad. They'd fall in the hole and we'd kill them. That was before the above the the bedrock stuff. That was the most efficient way of getting gold. We'd have like little platforms sticking out. We'd hit one and run in. That was just it. This is this is uh the old duplicator. And now this way, we actually had one more person in our world for a bit. Is my older brother. And this is his portal, leading to his house. This is somewhere, I think, in between the house at the top of the mountain and the, the quarry. If you go in here, here's everything. He didn't play for very long, but played for a bit. Up there is this is a little balcony. Empty room. And... Enchantment table, anvil. Down here is uh, another one of those mines. Diamond mines. Oh yeah, and there's a farm. A wheat farm. But yeah. I think... I think I don't think I missed anything. But anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode of TWD. Hope you enjoyed. I've been recording for 52 minutes, but that doesn't include cutting out all of the, all of the long traveling, backtracking, I'm going to be cutting in between what I say. So I think I should be able to get this in one episode. Anyways, that's going to be it, so goodbye.